a uh, welcome to John's basement. We're going to make a cow today for the Tucker special. Um, oh, as I, what the heck? As I've stated, uh, all work has been done on camera. Very little has been done off camera. So what, whatever, uh, sorry for the fimbling camera work. It's hard to work with a telephone. So whatever work's been done has been done live. So I, I brought some stuff over here today. I got some unobtainium, <laughs> super lightweight, three quarter inch thick wood. We're going to use that as the center section for the cow. And uh, I like to use three eighths for the sides to get started because it gives you more to sand with. And how I normally do this is that I set it down in here and trace around it. I need to get a pen. Find one for right on the wood. Good luck. I don't know why you don't like ballpoint pens. The ink fucking bleeds real bad on them. Pardon my French guys. Okay, got a ballpoint pen that works. I'll try to do this in the uh, so you guys can see how I do this. Man, you're gonna owe me fucking the cherries. What are you making me a Venturi? Are you making me a Venturi? Yeah, I made the Venturi. <laughs> oh, that one. This is a 283,000. So as you can see, it's real simple. You just put it down there in the uh, area that you want. Make it big. Now you see I have this, this is what gets cut away. We'll get a square, hopefully uh hopefully it's halfway square. You can't do that <laughs> Watch me. I've been doing it this way for 50 years. I did it, didn't I? Okay, I'm going to cut this on the jigsaw here. Okay, you'll notice here that I've cut way outside the line. That's because if you want it perfect, you have to sand to the line. Otherwise, it'll look like crap. So, let's 
So I brought my dirt blocks with me. I love these. Try to keep it square to the piece. Now, sometimes I, I don't uh, I don't line these with 64 so after they're done, but on this, this one here, I think I'm going to do it first. Sand everything together. How do you do it, John? What's that? On the cow, do you uh, line these first? Um, I get them rough down and then line them and then sand everything together because you have less of a chance of, if you use this raw wood you'll roll this edge just ever so slightly and then when you put your sand pit your uh, 64th on there you'll see that little roll and you'll have to fill it in so yeah you want or yeah just get it close you know your two slab sides are quarter inch or something up in there you know if you, Eight. Eight with carbon, and then eight. Yeah, it's a quarter inch. It, uh, yeah, that'll work. You can hold that. Are you going to hold that to the outside or to the inside? Inside. About right in the middle, actually. The extra, the extra wood. Try to get it in the middle. some block hollowing today too. Okay, there's the first piece. You'll see that it uh, fits perfect. We got four watchers and four thumbs up. Any uh, chat? No. Let's see here. Nope. Cancel. All right. Um, so now we have to make the other side. You can't just take this piece and flop it over here because you'll notice you have an outlet for exhaust. Well, I made a small error in calculation. I didn't bring any eight pants either. On where the needle valve comes out on this motor because it's been a while since I've used this 32F style motor. But you want the needle valve to come out right at the brake. You don't want it to come out somewhere else. You'll notice that it's forward about a quarter of an inch. So I need to add a piece of quarter inch right here to this to get that break to break right there, not back here. If you if you break it back here, you'll have a gaping hole up there with a the needle valve there, and that looks like Uh, I 
didn't bring C8. A bottle over here where it's over there. Huh? Right where it's over there. So I'll take this piece of quarter by quarter. You'll notice the uh, the angle's not right, so you want to sand that angle in there. I can't express enough how tight joints really help. And you'll notice that that's perfect. That puts the needle valve exactly where it's supposed to be. Okay, so I'm going to glue this. Let me cut this piece off. Too long. Can everybody see okay? I mean, Steve Berry, thank you uh, for that. He said he's really been enjoying watching this build. Get a chance, chuck this up in the in the lathe and turn that edge off. That's that one that's got wiped out. back over to Radical RC lately? No, I haven't been over there in a while. Sorry about that. Looks like we lost a little bit of the stream. I don't know what happened. Let me plug this in, make sure that we got juice here. Come on. Let me know. Are we still? Uh, are we still up and running? Type in the chat so I can see that we're still live. If I tried to take that whole bin out of there, you'll grind that whole ledge off there. But yeah, that's straight anyway. That's. I need a blue felt tip to. I can't help you on that one. Is in red, black? Yeah, give me the black. No, maybe the red would be red would be cooler. You're not gonna see that, though. Yeah, but it, I know it's there. Oh <laughs> uh, God. Look at that, man. This is high-tech race car stuff. Yeah. First bit of fuel you get on it, wipe it with her egg. <laughs> Here it's gone. Now you see it, now you die. Yeah, but I know it's there. Uh, all right. <laughs> Sorry to be boring you guys to death, but... Back saw, you got a little back saw? Yep. Where I did that? Yeah, in that box right there. Hey, yes. Oh, that's a 32. Yeah. What are you looking for? The 60? The 46. Yeah, oh, there it is.
Okay, we got that mistake. Great now. Remember, it's only wood. That's <laughs> John saying. <laughs> That's right, it's only wood. Do whatever you want to with it. You can put that on there and put this on there. So yeah, we keep losing, dropping the signal. I don't know what the deal is. I've got the... Uh, I've got the uh, <laughs> internet as close as I possibly can. The phone. Right straight above your head. No, it's right here. Oh, well, yeah, I want that one. So I don't know what the deal was. Uh, they're back. The watchers are back. Anyway, we're going to cut this uh, cut this piece up. Hopefully, so. So, because I'll, I'll be back to restart it again. Because I'm not, I'll be back to restart it again. Because I'm not at home and I don't have the, uh, the bandwidth that I have at home. So this stupid thing keeps dropping. And I don't know why. But we'll muddle through Okay, so I'm going to cut this. Give me a minute to get over the jigsaw and cut it out. So which piece am I saving? I'm saving this piece. I want to cut to the inside here. Okay, I'll check the camera, make sure it's still running. Yeah. Alright, you'll you'll see that I, I cut way outside the line. We're gonna sand up to that. I, I sometimes but go into the uh, Walgreens and buy all the women's fingernail files, but I haven't done that in a while. But John's got some motor mount sticks, and you can use dowels. I have a dowel in my pocket that I brought from home. I think John's even bought a pool cue as a sanding tool. I, I heard her. <laughs> Oh. Now 
got to come down on that one. Wi-Fi, that might be better. All right, I don't know, are we... Yeah, it says we're still going live. I apologize for the, uh, for the internet keeping the drop, but there's nothing I could do about it. So I'm sure the knuckleheads will give it some thumbs down for that, but that's the way it goes. So how do you need this nail valve going through this? On the top? That's right. I mean, which side do you want the needle valve on? Th this side? That's right. Yeah. Man, that can, that's too long of a needle valve. It's a hole in the center? No. Yeah, wash her it up. Okay, I wish there was a buzzer that would let me know when the internet drops, but not much I can do. So, what I'll do is I'll bring this over here. We've been up 24 minutes. In 24 minutes, we already have our calcite cut. So there's one, and two, we need to take a little bit more off the back of this, and very little, like 16 maybe. So now, in order to get this all together, oh, I need to cut this to the same width as that. Let me see your scalpel there. We're just matching up the fuselage sides itself. Pretty crappy weather here. It's cold. Maybe the uh, internet lines are frozen and the electrons won't uh, fish through it. I don't know. Anyway, so now we have to look, <clears throat> figure out what profile do we want on this thing. How do we want the cowl to look? We know that the uh, head sits back here because right here. And the bottom of this is right there. Boy, I wish I'd have set it back three quarters of an inch. You can get an even better look than you can so <clears throat> there's the profile of the cow we'll cut them tape them together and cut them both out at the same time
I'm going to be only a little brass washer and make it soft to put on that. Okay, I've taped them together. And I'm going to cut this out right here. Unnecessary step. You can whittle this out, but it's it's less carving when you do it like that. So now we'll untape them, and I need to figure out the width and length of this block. So if I leave it this width, which I might. Yeah, it needs, it needs to be an eighth of an inch shorter. Narrower. So, we'll go ahead and get a square end on this. So that the cowl fits halfway decent. It's pretty square. This is an inverted amount of matter. What? 46. No, it's sideways. It's a focal. Oh, oh it's perfect. Oh, it's on the opposite side of the exhaust. So, we need this piece this length. cut an eighth of an inch off of this. So that will put the three eighths in the center if you cut an eighth off the two. But here's one of these goofy rulers that I can't read. <laughs> You guys who don't know how to read a tape measure or a ruler, the eighth is two little marks. <laughs> measure twice, cut once. Especially when you got this good unobtainium wood. So I'm going to cut the length first. I just cut everything just to make it easier. I cut down the eighth line and the uh, length line, and we'll just sand to it to square it up.
Well, I hope you guys learn something when I when I do these because I really am trying to pass on some stuff to the younger control line guys. Okay, that's squared up. <clears throat> the length is is uh, squared up. And that's time to glue our blocks together. We'll test fit it and see how it looks. The best cow maker is Ted Sancher. By far. I mean, that guy. Wrong way. Just depends on how much time you want to put into it. Yeah. When it comes to those last couple points and appearance points, it makes a difference. So, now that it's together, we'll just glue it while it's on there, because you know it's uh, oriented right, maybe. I'm sorry about the, uh, come on. I'm sorry about the uh, connection problems, but that's got to be on the YouTube side, and there's not much I can do about it. There was a big boom over here the other day, and our TVs went out and our computers went out, so they may still be having problems with our own cable stuff. Anyway, we got a cow now to make the startings of it anyway. It's just tacked. We'll go ahead and... Uh, Wick the glue down in there and kick it off, see what happens. Kind of committed now, so if it ain't right, too bad. <laughs> How many turns out you want this? Uh, probably three, three right now. Four, four and a half, somewhere in there. It don't matter. Get the circle closed. I'd set them once and I don't know that I've ever touched them. Okay. There you go, and it, it's close to fitting. The, uh, the tinkering begins now. Cut, fit, sand, twist, pull. <laughs> I can get some more of that if, if you want it. Six inches wide. I don't want that. If, if I want it, I want it. Yeah, I can get that too. Huh? Just steal down here. Got anything you want? Oh, Jerry's got anything I want. These are too big. Really? Yeah. For this OS? Yeah. 
No, wait a minute. Well, I need one for the OS and I need one for the 32. It's going to be your picky soul, aren't you? Yeah. All right, so now let's cut out the uh, exhaust hole for this. Seven sixteenths, for those who don't understand how these little marks work, is one less than a half an inch. <laughs> well, you, I mean, I, you got to scroll it out for some of you guys. Come on. Keeps dropping. Sorry about that. Back in the uh, 60s, the guys would round this hole here and round the hole there. And it really looked nice. It, going right around like a McCoy exhaust port. But you can't do that when you're running a muffler because then the cow wouldn't come off. So we'll just run with that. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, it doesn't look right. Make sure that the uh, this lug here is parallel. To the... Yeah, it's not. So I have to sand this line We, if we re uh, disconnect again, I don't know. You guys got to let let me know in chat if you want me to continue to try to reconnect, or you just want me to stop and. So let me know. Do you want me to reconnect, or just stop the stream next time it drops? Of course, we got John making a muffler over there, making all kind of noise. Like I say, this is uh, this cow making business is uh, put it on, take it off, put it on, take it off.
cut out for the exhaust port. This little added piece right here was poor layout on, or poor thought on my design layout. But Got a low battery. Well, I think I figured out why it's dropping. It said that it had a low battery. I don't know why it was 100% when I left. Unless the stupid thing is uh, really sucking up some juice somehow. Drop me a chat. Tell me, do you want me to continue or just uh, or just end the stream? next time it drops because I know it's aggravating we're down to two viewers but we do have nine thumbs up so I appreciate it guys throw me a super chat if you can there's going to be some noise going on with John in the background there milling me out a muffler <clears throat> Matter of fact, we should get a look at that process. All right, Steve, I'll, I'll continue. I think I might have found it. I think the battery on the phone was low. So, uh, yeah, I think the battery on the phone was low, so I plugged it in. We'll see if it drops again. Okay, I need to I need to fill in this big hole here so what we're gonna do is uh, cut the width on this first I'll cut it the length I think Ah, uh, looks like it's dropping again. Hmm. It drops. Yeah, but I shut it down and get uh, get the code from Barb and hook into ours. 